I want to talk today about a feeling I've had. A sobering thought. Where I can see a high level of blindness among those claiming to be the children of God. The children of the Most High. A point where in scriptures Yeshua has called his own people blind. And those people got very upset with him. Because they believed that they could see. Who you call them blind? <coughs> I'm not blind. I can see. I have my eyes. I'm nearsighted and I need glasses, but I can still see. Who you calling blind? But physically, they don't see. They cannot see what is said or what it means to be blind. When you can't see past your own nose or the physicalness of what the understanding of what's going on around you. You just walk nonchalantly up and down the streets and listen to your radio and watch your TV as news report after news report what's going on in Somalia, what's going on in Arabia, what's going in North Korea and what's happening in the streets of North America. Blind. Many people of Yahweh don't even understand that the system around them is collapsing, deliberately and maliciously being eroded and undermined by the currents of destruction and those men sought and seeking power. Blind. Many have not even come to understand of all the trouble all over the world. You don't believe that there's a move on right now. Both on the streets of God and the streets of this world. And there's a division happening and a cutting away and a separating of His people. Many don't even realize that it's now time to be on our knees, bowing before our Creator with sincerity in our hearts. Many do not know that this is the season of our fears and for our tears. And we should be throwing ourselves on the altar of offering and saying, Abba, Abba in heaven, have mercy. <coughs> Many do not understand that this is the time that we labor and should be laboring in the vineyard. We don't believe that this is the end time Bible prophecies that we're seeing come to our past. We are ignorant and ignore that Russia and China and all the nations are gathered there in the Middle East heading dragged like insane victims that they are about to come toward Armageddon. We don't see the lust of hatred and violence amongst men that are being raised up. Violent men that we have not seen. The whole world is going crazy. And those which are leaders are fully insane. We don't see it. We don't want to see it when the blood of martyrs is being spilled in the desert sand. Where innocent children are being slaughtered. For global reduction. They're very clear what they want to do. And yet we're sitting there not saying a word. Calling this world to repentance. We do not believe in the end time prophecies of coming to pass. We don't see the violent storms. Earthquakes we have never seen. Floods that we have never seen. Storms coming out of nowhere that we have never seen. A lot of people see what's all happening over the world as mere political or ethnic issues. They don't see it as being a move of God. Punishing, spanking His people. Many of the children of Yahweh do not even believe that Yahweh could possibly be angry and be punishing His people for because everyone believes he is so merciful and he forgets and he forgives. 
he'll turn his blind eye to sin of sin and rebellion and stubbornness and wickedness in high places. Many people have come to the understanding that there is a war going on between the kingdom of Satan and the kingdom of our Lord God, Elohim. Everything is just normal to them. It's global warming. Global warming is the cause of those fights in Syria. Global warming is causing the race riots in the straits. Global warming is causing El Nino and El Nino. Global warming is causing ice cap warming to <coughs> melt it. Global warming is causing violence in the streets and setting brother against brother. The answer to all our problems is global warming. We shut everything down and go into our little shells. Everything will be fine. We'll return to normal. We'll kill off a few billion people here and there just to bring our population down. You'll see, we'll go back to normal. What kind of insanity is this that we're being preached to? Oh, I see the greatest arrow that Satan has ever shot into the camp of God. Because he's caused people of this time and this moment become so full of spiritual blindness and confusion. It is very evident when you see the supposed children of Yahweh arguing biblical truth to scorn just because of spiritual blindness. We see here messages of humanism and transhumanism and everything is just so sweet and sweet and lovely. Don't worry about it. Just stay here with us. We'll play our little music and sound oh so good. You see the high level of spiritual blindness when you see some of these programs, themes that these churches supposedly are giving to the people. You see the clear image of a blind leader and blind followers. The interests of many churches today are is evident in their blindness. Because I know if one ever saw clearly what is really happening, he or she would start acting better and turn their face to the wall and cry out, Oh, God have mercy. To crown all this, virtually everyone claims to know it all. From the conversion you see to the strong evidence of this blindness. I pray with all my heart that Yahweh Elohim will deliver us from this demonic covering and blindness that is covering this world in darkness and impart us with his fire from heaven above. The priests of this world have played their music long enough. Build me an altar. Grab me some wood. Soak it down with water. Place the lamb upon the altar. Place the bullock upon the altar. And let us see which God answers with fire. There is only one God in all of history. <clears throat> in any belief system, this error answered with fire. It is our mighty one of Israel, the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. Repent, wake up, put salve on your eyes and look and see what is happening or blood will flow on the streets of your neighborhood. A silent bell I shall not be ever again. Shalom.